I think the future of the music industry is really exciting. I mean, we obviously touring has been really tough, uh, but it will come back. Recorded music is in uh, high single digit, double digit growth year on year, with, with streaming particularly leading that. It's fast changing. The modern freelancer would tell you that everything is on the palette for uh, content creation and modes of expression. And uh, publishing is growing as well. So the opportunities within the industry are excellent. And I think as lecturers um, and educators, we really are um, constantly on our toes about what's going on and what's next. What excites me most about the future of music and technology in my field is that it's always changing. We live in a, in a big music world, yet it's really become smaller because of technology. And I think that is just getting better and better and better and faster. I am excited every day to wake up and learn what's new to play with out there. But the industry is also more competitive than it ever was. 60,000 songs uploaded on Spotify a day is just crazy numbers. So the ability to think independently and get to the edge of your art are going to be the things that uh, enable you to stand out in the music industry, whether you're a musician or you're working with musicians in some kind of capacity. Why study a postgraduate award in music? As a point of difference to set yourself apart in the industry is obviously to uh, qualify yourself further. Students who are curious about something, a Masters of Music would be perfect because that curiosity will completely be opened up. The most important things I like to get across to my students, um, independent thinking is probably the prime factor. Uh, independent thinkers get on in life and get on in their business. The skill of resilience, being able to handle what the industry throws at you. To be lifelong learners. I want to work with the students and I want our minds to be blown by the voyage of discovery. To run wild. <laughs> One of the best things that I've seen from the composition and music production students that we have that have interfaced with industry is how successful some students have ended up being outside of their original plan. They might have come here to be a composer, ended up being an audio engineer. They might have come here starting off in audio engineering and ended up more specifically in music production. In the master's program, I guess really focusing on someone's genius zone which I would say is where a person's strengths and interests are. So it is a, a boutique music institution, which means that all the Master of Music students are guaranteed to have a high level of personalised attention. We also don't force students uh, towards one way of learning. There's lots of collaboration between staff members. There's also lots of collaboration between classes and units as well. So there's a lot of opportunities to express yourself in a slightly variant way and to upskill and to diversify your practice. And I, I certainly think that AIM offers that to students. The fact that Masters of Music students are able to, for example, sit in on many of the undergrad uh, subjects to be able to, to to fill in anything that they feel that they would like to continue to learn. Diversity, it's really simple. Mm -hmm. Diversity is essential to creativity um, and it's up to us and our students provide that. Our students themselves are so diverse, we just have to ensure from a, a teaching perspective that um, each student gets a chance to express their voice.